Hello friends. So we are going to solve one more problem on first vibration. So you can see the problem statement on the page. A machine of mass one ton. So first I'll write here the given. So given is that the mass of that machine is given it is one ton. So it is one thousand kg. Acted upon by external force. So the force is acting on this system as the external force is applied on the system means it is forced vibration and in forced vibration the external force is f not so they have given the value of f not see in the earlier example in the same example they have given the external force but they have mentioned that it is of rotating unbalanced so in that case i have taken the centrifugal force m not omega square e but here they have not mentioned the external force because of the external or rotating unbalance so i have directly taken this external force that is the unbalanced force is f not okay at a frequency of the speed is given and the speed is 1500 rpm to reduce the effect of vibration <coughs> they have placed the isolator they have placed the isolator of rubber with the static deflection see the static deflection of that rubber is given and that static deflection delta is nothing but 2 mm under a machine load and an estimated damping ratio damping ratio means zeta it is 0.2 that is damping factor determine the force transmitted to the foundation so they have asked to determine the force transmitted so this problem is of transmissibility so they have given the problem of transmissibility so the transmissibility is nothing but it is ft divided by f not means force transmitted to the system divided by ft divided by f not okay so ft is force transmitted divided by force impressed okay and this formula we can write <coughs> how to write this formula of transmissibility the transmissibility is nothing but root divided by root now how to remember this formula c here we will have to write the formula from the amplitude in the amplitude this denominator it is given by 1 minus omega by omega n square bracket square plus 2 zeta omega by omega n bracket square so this is the denominator from the amplitude for uh, forced vibration now from this denominator you have to write the numerator consider this first term as 1 plus keep the second term as it is 2 zeta omega by omega n square so this is the formula for transmissibility okay and in this transmissibility this is the force transmitted to other system this is the force impressed in the system okay so they have asked to determine the force transmitted so we will have to determine this value of ft okay so determine to determine this ft they have provided f not okay so see here they have given the value of f not so f not is known now from this one here we will require the zeta and just see they have given the value of zeta okay so the zeta is known now we will require omega and omega n okay so how to determine this omega omega is nothing but 2 pi n by 60 and just check the n that is speed is given okay so the speed is given so we know the omega if i put the value i'll get the omega now the thing which is remained in this formula is omega n so we'll have to determine omega n and it is under root k by m and for this the mass is given but we don't know the value of k now just tell me what is mean by k k is nothing but the stiffness and stiffness it is force per unit displacement means because of that force if there is displacement then force divided by displacement this gives the value of k 
now just check in the given what displacement they have given here you can see the rubber with static deflection means they have given the static deflection what is mean by static deflection without external force due to weight if there is deflection of the system then that deflection is called static deflection so i can modify this k as because of the weight of the system there will be displacement and that displacement will be static displacement now just check just check static displacement is given just check the weight weight means mg so the mass of machine is given okay so put the value of mass here put the value of static deflection here we will get the stiffness put the stiffness here we will get omega from this n we will get omega put all the values we will get force transmitted so this is the simple problem but the twist is that they have given the static deflection okay so according to that i have modified the formula of stiffness okay so we'll solve one by one uh, we'll get all the things so first we'll determine the omega that is the angular velocity angular velocity of the system omega is nothing but 2 pi n divided by 60 they have given the value of n so 2 pi into 1500 divided by 60 put all the values on the calculator you will get the value of omega so wait i'll solve so it is 2 pi 1500 divided by 60 yes this comes out to be 157 so the answer is 157.07 radian per second so we have the value of omega now determine omega n so to determine this omega n will require the value of stiffness so we will determine the stiffness okay now the second term that we are going to determine is stiffness the formula for stiffness is it is force per unit displacement that is the weight of the system divided by static deflection so weight just tell me the weight weight is nothing but mg okay so i am going to put the value of mg m mass they have given 1 ton So 1000 into G 9.81 divided by the static deflection. So that is deflection is 2 mm. Now while putting this two, see the weight where we have used the value of G and G is gravitational acceleration and gravitational acceleration is meter per second square. So we here we have put the value in meter. So we will have to convert this mm into meter. So multiply by 10 raised to minus 3. Okay, so 2 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter will be the static deflection. They have given the value in mm. I have converted into meter. Now solve to get the value of k. Now solving this equation, just wait. We will require the value of k, and it is 4.9 into 10 raised to 6. So k is 4.9. Into 10 raised to 6 newton per meter. Okay, so this is the static. Sorry, we have determined the value of stiffness by using the static deflection. Now we have k, we have omega, and we will have to determine omega n. Now I am going to determine the frequency. Now how to determine this frequency? Natural frequency. What is the formula? Omega n is equal to root k by m. We have the value of k. We have the value of m. So just put. So k, 4.9 into 10 raised to 6 divided by the mass is 1000 kg. That is 1 ton. Solve. Now after solving, we get omega n. That is the natural circular frequency of this system 
so just wait i'll put yes this comes out to be 70 so the natural frequency is 70 radian per second now we have all the values just see we have omega we have zeta we have omega n we know f naught so i'm going to use the formula for transmissibility and we'll determine the value of ft but here will require omega by omega n so i'll do one more step just find out the value of omega by omega n see the value of omega is 157.07 divided by omega n is 70 solve this one omega by omega n uh, it is 2.24 so this comes out to be 2.24 as we have taken the ratio there will be no unit for omega by omega n so we have all the values even we have the ratio of omega by omega n also now put all these values into the formula for transmissibility okay so i'll write the formula for transmissibility so force transmissibility is given by tr is equal to force transmitted divided by force impressed is equal to i told how to remember this formula first write the denominator 1 minus omega by omega n square bracket square plus 2 zeta omega by omega n square now numerator how to write this numerator consider first term as 1 plus write down the second term as it is from the denominator so this is the formula now put the values that we know see we will have to determine ft we know the value of f naught f naught they have given 2450 in initially now i will put the values So 1 plus 2 into value of zeta, they have given value of zeta, it is 0.2, we have determined omega by omega n, it is 2.24 whole bracket square, divide by, put the values in the denominator, 1 minus 2.24 square bracket square plus 2 into zeta is 0.2 into omega by omega and 2.24 brackets. If it is difficult to solve in calculator, then solve numeric numeric uh, sorry numerator separately and then solve denominator separately. Then transfer this denominator from left side to right side. You will get the answer of FT. Just wait, let's solve this one, get the answer. This answer is 798.8 Newton. Means from your machine to the support, this amount of force is transmitted. That is around 798.8 Newton is transmitted. See, this problem is very simple to solve. The twist is that they have given the static deflection and from the static deflection how I determine the value of k? The static deflection is because of the self weight. So instead of force I have taken the self weight divided by instead of deflection I have taken the static deflection. We will get the value of k. If put all the values into transmissibility, yes you are going to get the answer. Okay, thank you.